U.S. officials will be in Beijing next week for talks with their Chinese counterparts at issue, the fentanyl crisis. It is the first time both sides are meeting at a high level to discuss the issue since China broke off talks in 2022 in retaliation for former Speaker Nancy Pelosi's visit to Taiwan. For more on this, we're joined by NBC News foreign correspondent Janice mackey Frayer in Beijing. <clears throat> so Janice, who's in this U.S. delegation, what exactly are both sides expected to work on? Well, what was described to us as a joint task force is set to be launched next week, and it's going to bring together high-level officials from law enforcement and narcotics control from both countries, including U.S. Homeland Security and the DEA. This is seen as a significant step. Uh, toward reviving counter-narcotics cooperation, which hasn't existed at all since 2022 with Nancy Pelosi's visit to Taiwan, and also that had encountered obstacles since 2020, uh, with the U.S. putting sanctions on a narcotics control lab here, as well as the Institute of Forensic Science, both falling under the Ministry of Public Security. Uh, that was seen as an obstacle by the Chinese side. Both of those were removed from the entity list in November, uh, right after President Biden met with Xi Jinping in San Francisco. It was seen as a trade-off, uh, a necessary trade-off, uh, according to the Biden administration, in order to revive the level of cooperation we're going to see here next week. Uh, Janice, I know you've spoken with the deputy director of China's National Narcotics Control Commission. What did he have to say about all this and what Beijing's expectations are here? I spoke with Yu Haibin. He's the deputy director general of China's Narcotics Control Bureau. That falls under the Ministry of Public Security. Uh, we talked about the challenges uh, for China in trying to crack down on chemical supply lines from Chinese companies here. There are literally tens of thousands of chemical precursors that can be synthesized to produce the fentanyl that's killing so many in Americans, but they can also be used for legitimate purposes. Uh, he also talked about uh, cryptocurrencies, the use of the dark web, the fact that the internet uh, is transnational. But he said the biggest problem uh, with the opioid crisis in the United States still remains demand. So Janice, why is this meeting happening now? Well, it's happening now out of necessity. Um, it's, it's seen as something that uh, uh, needs to get back on track in order to try to uh, at least attempt to put a dent in the supply lines. Uh, we've seen the opioid crisis deepen across the U.S. Uh, there are more deaths now than at any other time in U.S. history. Uh, so this has become a bipartisan issue. Uh, in, for Americans. Uh, officials have been working for months here to try to get things back on track. There was a bipartisan delegation that traveled uh, to uh, China in October, met directly with Xi Jinping, and senators from both sides appealing to him to do something, anything, uh, to help this crisis that's ravaging so many communities. All right, Janice, thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.